I'm John Sterling, I'm Richard Price's editor, and uh, we're here to talk about The Whites, uh, which Richard has written under the name Harry Brandt. So, Richard, uh, when did the idea for The Whites first start knocking on the door of your imagination? Well, I've been circling around writing a crime novel, a pure crime novel without uh, trying to reach for any higher social uh, reverberations. And I had such an, a number of experiences um, just going out with the police or, and hanging out with the police um, that I had such a, a storehouse of memories over the last 20 years that I thought it would be a great relief if I could write a book from memory as opposed to go out in the field because I don't really want to write. I'd rather be out in the field. And um, my, my essence, my spirit guide was Ouija. I just wanted to write a book that looked like a series of Ouija snapshots. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the name of that, too. That's, that's, <laughs> that's how it started out. But you've written a lot about cops and criminals throughout your career. Um, never written a straight crime novel. What, what led you to decide to do that this time? Because, to my mind, cops were always uh, human backstage passes to, to drama, that I wasn't particularly interested in cops as cops. I wasn't, I'm not a police buff, I don't have a, a police radio. But what I discovered was that when I'm with the police, if I'm doing a ride-along where I make friends in a detective squad, I can see things because I'm with them that I would never see uh, anywhere on my own. Uh, you go through an area and there's a certain superficial, the surface of the sea look. And when you're with cops, it's like you put on a scuba mask and then you can really see what the ocean is. You can see all the tectonic plates, mm -hmm. to mix my metaphors here. Uh, to see all the tectonic plates, that the, the tensions and the subcurrents mm -hmm. and the small things that people don't know. Now, right from the start, you decided to write the whites under a pseudonym. And why did you do that? You don't want to know. Um, <laughs> I just felt it was a different type of book. I really wanted, I had a notion of what goes into a, a crime novel. I never thought about it as a detective novel. I never thought about it. Uh, in any more specific word than crime, maybe urban crime. And I felt like I was going to follow the rules of the genre, which I wanted to keep it on the surface of the story. I didn't necessarily want the story to expand to a higher social reality about America and the way we live now. I just wanted to create characters that were memorable, things to happen, and a story to unfold and the tension in the book would be the tension of discovery of what the author is withholding from you. Mm -hmm. It's more like a who done it than a why done it. 